In this video, we are going to talk about the Civil 3D Parts Builder. The Parts Builder is Civil 3D's collection of pipes and structures, manholes, all kinds, all different sizes, all different types. And it is basically a one-stop shop for all the pipe sizes that you will ever encounter. Now, it does not have all of them, and the odd time you'll have to go in and modify the Parts Builders, add extra parts, possibly remove pieces you don't ever use and would never need. So how do we access the parts builder? Well inside of your Civil 3D window we're going to click on pipes and then we're going to click on parts builder. It'll open up this little catalog screen and make sure if you're working in metric it's a metric pipe catalog and if you're working in imperial you're using the imperial catalog. Now this has both pipes and structures so a quick remember back, structures would be manholes, catch basins, uh, any inlets and outlet structures, but we'll be going into the pipe one just to take a look around. So metric pipe catalog, there's circular pipes, we have egg-shaped pipes, electric, elliptical pipes, and rectangular pipes. Now these will be your concrete box culverts, they'll be 2 meters by 3 meters for example. But let's just go ahead and take a look in the PVC circular pipes. So we'll select PVC pipe SI, and we're going to click the Modify Part Size button. Let the next window load. And out comes this little diagram. If you zoom in, it tells you a few dimensions and what they mean. BDY D1 is equal to 24. Just some formulas on how it's built. And I believe that's the only one that's visible on there. So over in the left here, if you notice, the new tool palette tool space type window popped up. Now these are how all the parts are defined within Civil 3D. So we're only going to be changing and taking a look at one section. These are the size parameters. So we're going to right click and we're going to edit values. So our edit part sizes window comes up and I'll expand that. And I'm going to expand the window a little bit more so we can see what's going on. Now these are all the pipe sizes that are defined within Civil 3D for PVC circular pipes. We have 75 mil, 90 mil, 100 mil, 110 millimeter. Now the City of Calgary, which is where we're focusing, does not use all these pipe sizes. In fact, everything below 175, they do not happen to use. So again, you can delete them if you want, or we, when we build them in the parts list, we can just select the few that we do need. Now keep in mind that in the city of Calgary, anything between 200 and 375 is going to be PVC. Anything 400 or bigger will be concrete. Now if I bring you back to the design guidelines for subdivision servicing document, we'll see a table here. Yes, it's the minimum radii of curvature for sewers, but this gives you an idea of all the pipe sizes they use. So their minimum pipe size uh, sanitary and storm is 200 mil diameter. So that's the smallest we're going to go. The 100s and 150s are for tie-ins and uh, house connection utilities and just minor things, not your major underground utilities. So we have 200, 250, 300, and 375. Those will all be PVC within your drawing. Anything over this will be putting in as concrete. So that's 450 all the way up to 3,000 mil down here. Now, there are bigger pipe sizes within the city. They just don't have everything on here. So I'm going to minimize this now and take a look back here. So we only need a few pipe sizes in the middle. Now, again, you can delete them if you want, but on the off chance that you do eventually need them later down the road, it doesn't hurt to leave them in. So a quick button to delete them is just right here, delete. Now, if there's a pipe size that you need that's not in here, I'll quickly show you how to add one. There's a little new button. It'll drop a line in the very end, and as far as I'm aware, there's no way to rearrange it. So if you drop it in the bottom, it's going to forever live at the bottom. Now, say this was a 1600 diameter pipe size. We just typed 1600. This WTH is the wall thickness. Now, this will come right from the manufacturer. And I'm not sure of the wall thickness on a PVC pipe. But just to show you how to change it, I'm just going to type 50 mil. This part, SN, part size name, this is a formula, so we don't need to edit this. And this BDYD1, 
this is also a formula and this is just reading off your original window back here. So that's how you add a part size and this is how you delete one. So I'm just going to delete that one because there are no 1600 PVCs. So I'm going to just click cancel for now and go back to this window and we're going to close out of the PVC parts builder. Do I want to save changes? Well, I haven't modified anything, so no. Now we're going to go back up to pipes, parts builder again, and we're going to check out the concrete pipes just to show you the difference in them. So I'm going to click modify part size, let it load again, pretty much the same graphic. We're going to expand size parameters. We're going to edit values on this one again. So if I make this a little bigger, you can see there's quite a few more pipe sizes. So if we take a look in the window here, again, you see more pipe sizes. There's a th 100 mils all the way up to 4,000 millimeters. Now, again, there are pipe sizes that are bigger than this, and they may need to be added. So your first column is your inner pipe diameter. Second is wall thickness. Third is the Manning's coefficient. Again, the fourth one is your automatic pipe size, part size name. And the fifth is your body diameter D1. So this is the exact same window and adding or deleting a size is as simple as the last one. Just part in diameter, wall thickness, Manning's coefficient, and for concrete that is pretty standard at 0 0.013. So I'm going to click cancel and I'm going to close this again and I'm going to save changes no. The last part of the parts builder that I want to show you is under the structure. So we're going to go pipes, parts builder, click on structures, and we'll do a junction structure with a frame. So a typical manhole, cylindrical, concentric cylindrical structure SI, that's your typical round barreled manhole, modified part size. Now this one is a little more in depth. So a little 3D uh, flips it onto its side. We have lengths, radiuses, heights, diameters. Now if I come in to edit the values of the size parameters, and we're not going to change anything in here. All that's in here is one diameter of manhole. It's a 1200. Cone height of 600, wall thickness of 125. And again, just take a look around yourself and see what's there. So if you do need to build other specific manholes for your jurisdiction, this is where you will do it. So I'm going to cancel that. I just don't, I don't want to modify anything in here. And we're going to close this. And save no. So the parts builder works hand in hand with your parts list. You need to access pipes that are in the parts builder, structures that are in the parts builder, and manually add them into your parts list to be able to access them within Civil 3D. And that is the parts builder. There will be another video on parts lists.